In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite, most underrated passes from the shotgun spread in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for watching this video. Now really quickly, uh, I just want to ask that you go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you enjoy the content, if you enjoy the tips, the tricks, the strategies that I give you every day here on YouTube, my commitment to you for 2021 is two things. Number one, we're never going to miss a day of uploads. So we're going to always upload videos for you every single day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. You can bank on that for 2021. And the second commitment that I have to you is we're always going to be live streaming every single night to share and answer your questions live at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested in the channel and you want to improve, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. Uh, you guys have been killing it. First part of the year has been so awesome, the support that you've been showing me. And I want to kind of bring back an offense. Now, for those of you that don't know, I play, I have a PS4 CFM and an Xbox One CFM. And in the PS4 CFM, I just got Patrick Mahomes on a blockbuster trade. Basically traded a bunch of players to get him. But with the new abilities update for the CFM, you can put Gunslinger on your quarterback. And so I kind of started thinking. I had originally built the offense to be able to run the spread. And then I was thinking about kind of going away from the spread because Matt Stafford wasn't able to really throw into tight windows. But now that I have Patrick Mahomes... It's like, let's get back into the gun spread. So wanted to share you one of my favorite plays. I actually haven't talked about this uh, really anywhere, but this is a secret little play. And honestly, I don't use this enough. Now, um, you can do this from curl wheel. You can pretty much do this from really anything in this offense. Um, you could also do it from this little spread flex with the Y corner play. But in my opinion, the best play to use this for is the uh, curl wheel just because you have that nice little post right on the left side if you don't want to use curl wheel you could also use the play y cross y cross is a really good play to use this same kind of concept with um, and it's going to do a good job of pulling the zones out of the way so but i'm going to show it to you out of curl wheel and we're going to flip the play that's the key to making this thing super super good and super successful and to be honest with you it's a super little adjustment out of curl wheel um, that i find to be very very effective against both you know pretty much any zone defense if they're running zone on me i will run this play from time to time just to kind of open some things up now if you don't know i've also written a full ebook on this offense so if you enjoyed this play you'll probably enjoy the entire ebook if you want to pick up the ebook the link is in the description of this video and if you would like to get a free formation from the ebook to kind of test it out just text me my number is 812-216-3644 okay so what do you do with this play? Well, basically what we're going to do is we are going to essentially leverage the fact that a lot of times people are going to user Devontae Adams' route. I mean, they're going to want to basically kind of play right where that middle linebacker is to get back on the route and take it away. So all we're going to do from this is we're going to basically flat our tight end. We're going to put our running back on a wheel route, as you can see right here. And then on this right side of the formation, I actually really, really like to put uh, Equanimous St. Brown on a little slant pattern. And then we're going to take Marquez Valdez Scantling. And typically what I'm going to do with him is I'm going to put him on some type of smoke screen. And last but not least, what I'm going to do is I'm going to motion Equanimous St. Brown to the left side of the formation. Now, if you didn't want to do it this way, what you could also do is you could put Equanimous St. Brown on a zig route and motion mark as about a scantling. So you can do either or uh, for this play, really just as long as you have the slant route, that's what really matters. Now, um, if you were to do it like this and you wanted to keep your spread alignment, then you could just put St. Brown on a flat route and about a scantling on a slant. So you can do it two ways. We'll show you kind of both and. The first way to do it is to motion this guy to the left side, and you're going to snap the ball right here. Now, what we're hoping happens from that is that's going to pull their user out of that side of the field, and it's going to allow us to hit this seam wheel, or this little wheel route to the back. Now, really quickly, just so you can understand, what this does a really, really good job against is people that like to run this coverage right here. If they like to run Mabel coverage right here, two flats and two purples on one on the same side of the field, that this play right here is going to do a really really good job so let me show it to you one more time on um, the first version of it which is this and the reason why you motion the slant over is this is going to continue to kind of force the issue that they have to kind of go to the right 
and then you're going to see here you're just going to roll right over the left side and you're going to be able to hit your see your little wheel route to aaron jones now this does really really good against pretty much every zone coverage they can run in my opinion the best zone coverage to stop this specific setup would be to run some type of cover two but what you'll notice is with cover two you're going to have this little quick snap throw slant route right at the snap of the ball against a coverage like that where they're not dropping any defensive linemen or they're not dropping anybody back however we're going to keep rolling here and i want to show you what this play can do for you in terms of yards and you still have this really 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 good post route to Devontae Adams. I want you to know that. So you're still going to have that read. But what you'll see right here is that little seam wheel, once again, is going to be able to do a lot of damage against your opponent. Now, uh, one other little version of this that you could run is kind of like a three verticals. But basically, you're going to clear everything out now. And you're just going to basically use, you see here, just put Devontae Adams on a streak. And what you'll notice is this actually does a really, really good job against zone as well because you're going to clear even more space to be able to open this up. And again, this is a super, super, super simple combination, but really, really effective. Like, I mean, really, really effective, especially if you're running this where your spread, like your running back is to the side that's the wide side. Um, that'll be really, really good as well. One thing I really like to do is put him on a skinny post if you have that a bit capability. But you, this a fade will work just as well. Either of those things will work really well because you have these little quick reads in behind it. But as you'll see here, no zone in the game is really going to be able to stop this, as you can see. And what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to man up the running back. Now, when they start manning up the running back, that's where things are going to start to kind of break down for them because if they go to man coverage then what you're going to notice here is when you motion these guys around right you're going to have a pretty good shot at actually getting some pretty nice little man switching type of things um, you're going to get some natural picks and natural rubs and as you can see there that slant route is going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage now let's just say you wanted to keep your standard alignment right you didn't want to change your alignment you always want to attack from a spread because you want to be balanced well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flat both of the slot receivers. I'm going to put a slant to Valdez Scantling, and then I'm going to put a wheel route to Aaron Jones. And as you can see here, if I did something like this, then my post route is going to be kind of my go-to. My slant route will still get open, especially if I have a good receiver out there. Um, it'll also, specifically, it will really get open if they run some type of off coverage which you will see a lot of people, if they're playing spread, they're going to run a lot of off coverage. So you see there, these little quick slants are really, really effective. So I don't want you to count, discount that and discount how effective that that can be for you. I just want you to first see that your read to the running back is still open. Um, and pretty much the one solution they do have is to go ahead and man him up. So if they do man up the running back, you'll see that even if even with all of these things being true right here, um, you know it's going to be a challenge you can sometimes if you have a mismatch be able to hit that but if that's a safety with decent man coverage and speed you know it's going to be hard pressed to hit that but because we have aaron jones um you know you could do him really on anything else in combination with that but but realistically guys one of my favorite ways to run this and it's super super simple to set up but it's really good against pretty much every coverage especially again if you're running this to the wide side and the beauty of this is this is all hot routes you don't need any abilities you don't need anything right to run this but if they're running some type of cover two, you're going to see here that if I'm if I'm running that to the wide side of the field, that's going to be a really, really good option for what they're trying to do. So you're, you're kind of hedging your bet a little bit with this play, but this is one of my favorite little plays. Another good way to run this play, um, to run this concept right here, is you have your, your flat and your wheel combination, right? But what I really, really would like to do here, um, if you notice that you notice that Jones, when he runs his little wheel route, he oftentimes is going right up the seam. So what you could do is you could take your tight end and put him on a hitch route, motion him to the left, so he's going to go inside a little bit. And then with your outside uh, receiver, you could put him on an out route. And what you'll notice is against some zone coverage, this little hitch route, they're going to open up even more space for you to be able to throw this ball. And then what you're going to be able to do on the right side of the field, and this is why I love spread so much, because you can truly spread the defense out and force them to have to use her every little piece of grass on the field, right? So you do something like that right there where you have this little setup, 
And then on the right side, what you're going to do is we're just going to run a dagger concept where we put a streak and a deep dig route to mark it without a scantling. This little concept right here, I know it looks very, very basic, but this dig route to Vada Scantling is super, super effective. You could do this out of other plays. Um, uh, one that comes to mind right off the top of my head would be something like the play um, uh, P.A. Reed right here. So you have that nice skinny post to Vada Scantling. So what I could do is something like this, is I could do this right here, right? We do this basic setup. And then maybe, you know, you could do anything you want with a slot receiver. He's kind of the highlight, you know, player. You can do all kinds of things. I personally really like to just quick flat him just to get open up space. Another thing you could do is hitch him. So now you have two hitches that they have to guard on both sides. And this play, I know it doesn't look like much, but it's super, super hard to guard because the hitches pull the zones out of the way and force them to have to man up the running back. That's going to leave them one less defender that they can – devote to defending everything else that you're going to be able to do from this the other beauty from this is let's say that you're facing some type of mabel coverage right so you're facing something like this and you go to that play and again you don't have to do anything that you you know you really don't have to do really anything necessarily with this right side one of the things that i would recommend is something like that like a little slant wheel combination you know just something like that right and what you'll notice here is if you watch that tight end because there's no yellow zone over in that field now he's going to be something that's a threat to the offense, and he's going to be moving the ball uh, up and down the field. One last thing that you can do that I want to talk about is you can motion in Devontae Adams, and you could put him on a hitch route. And now what you're going to see is if you did something like this right here, and again, I know it doesn't look like much, but these, route, these are the route combinations that really help open everything else up for your offense. As you can see, once again, you're going to open up so much space and be able to throw the ball to your running back against any zone in the game. Now, really quickly, you might be asking, okay, but what are your answers for man coverage, right? What are your answers for man coverage? If they run man coverage, what are you going to do? Um, you know, I face a lot of man coverage. Again, that's where I really, really, really like something like a deep dig route to Valdez Scantling or um, a little underneath uh, hitch route to Equanimous St. Brown. You're going to see a lot of success here because the dig route is going to get very nice little inside positioning against man-to-man -man coverage. The hitches are going to be really good if they're shading over top. And then obviously your wheel route is going to be good if you have a route running advantage. So that is one of my favorite little plays to mix in with this. Um, and really quick, one other thing that you can do, I just want to hit on this really quickly. But if you're running it from curl wheel, it's really, really good. So I could wheel the running back, right? I could take Valdez Scantling and put him on a little whip. Uh, little little uh, out route here and then I could take Robert Tunyon and I could pop I could put him on a slant I could put him on a hitch um, I actually really like to put him on a, a flat route um, or a whip route just to open up more space but then I can motion this running back to the right really really quickly and have a pretty nice little advantage against every zone in the game as you see right there um, I'm able to get you know I can do the kind of the same concept to the right side of the field the one beauty about it being to the right side of the field is I have a little bit better of a pool route with this wheel route to St. Brown. So I could do something like a hitch, a wheel, or I'm sorry, not a hitch wheel, but a, a smoke screen and a wheel combination. And what you'll see here again, we're going to open up space and we're going to be able to hit that wheel route against the zone. So I can do that on both sides of the field um, and, and do it relatively quickly. What this is going to continue to allow your offense to do is it's going to continue to open up that middle of the field. We really want to try to open that up. There's a saying in the air raid called 53-3. And what that means is we want to use the whole field. We want to use the whole space horizontally. We really want to stretch the field horizontally. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up the middle of the field for us to run four verticals or curl uh, mesh posts or different things like that. So this is one of my favorite, absolute favorite combinations in the entire game. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't picked up the Air Raid Offensive eBook yet, that link is in the description of this video. And if you'd like to get more free Madden schemes, I have a ton of them in my text message membership. All you got to do to sign up is just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video.